Alright, here's a little short video on this uh, the 21 Polaris uh, XP1000 Ranger. So this is any of the 1000 Polaris's, your shifter, uh, like this one was stuck in high-low but wouldn't go to park uh, and neutral. And it's all because this detent inside of here is broke. So that's what fails. And the little roller breaks off and it'll be laying underneath this little cover under here and so you just lift your tailgate to get access to this outer and you'll have this linkage here that's what your cable connects to right there and it'll go on that shaft so you'll take the bolt off of that and you'll have to pry this off it's pressed on there really good you can take that off later once you pull this cover off if you want but essentially I've put it back together and there's a bit of a trick um, I've already put this spring in let me pull it back out because I can redo this in a few minutes Okay, there we go. But the technique I found is put the spring in with the arm up and then pry the arm down to get that roller underneath. Right now we're in the high gear uh, setting. So essentially this is your shaft here, which has a keyway on it. Like you can't mess it up. It does have a flat spot right there. Um, put that spring aside, but this gear here also has little dots. Let me take this outer one. So this is your detents for your different gear selections from like high, low, uh, I believe park, reverse, reverse, uh, neutral, reverse, park. Those should be like your detents. So this bad boy will rotate that direction and all the way this way, clockwise, would be high gear, I believe. And also when you're putting this back together, there's little dots. If you can see those dots, I might have to move my light in here. Ooh, yeah, that's bright. So there's a couple of dots on there on both cogs. One has uh, mm, one has two dots on it. I've actually keyed that wrong. So move that over. And then the back of this gear just sits in that little uh, shelf. So you line up your little dots. Here we are. The dots are lined up. You just kind of wiggle it. It'll line up in place. That's lined up. You got this one here, which you're going after. You'll have to slide this over this o-ring um, there's a collar on one end so it just falls on the shaft but you'll slide it you take that o-ring off be careful if you do if you don't uh, lubricate it with a little wd-40 or something and you can slide that on and off of the shaft so you'll have your new little roller so that little roller will break slide this in here and you'll just find where that notch is mine's facing down wiggling in place boom now you got that up then you take your other gear here and it's also keyed so you wiggle it on rotate it a little bit and then it'll finally find its notch um, make sure and put new RTV around here you'll take your spring I lay it here then I'll put my arm way up or pull that back out I'll put this uh, spring kind of in here and then lay it in that little notch it needs to go in you get the idea, but it'll lay in here and then you'll push it in. And when you push it in up here, you'll then pry it down to uh, go underneath and line up kind of like that there. Yeah, this light is obnoxious that way. Yeah, so there's a trick in that spring in, but I install it, I install it kind of like up here at this higher angle and then put my spring in between that notch and that little uh, little recess there. So it's a little easier getting a spring in there and then knock it down, push it down to get it underneath that cog there. And then there'll be enough tension, everything will be held in place. And then you'll be able to put your new RTV around this uh, outer and then slide your uh, cover back on in place and bolt it down. Look this guy. Creeping, watching what I'm doing. Alrighty, cool, hope that helps some people.